Hey everybody, Dr. Wenzel Brentwood, MD. In this video, I'm going to be talking with you about what I see as the most underrated emotion in the entire human experience. And quite simply, it's joy. Now, I'm not talking about being happy. Like, in so many ways, culturally and in our society, the word happy has come to mean some version of satisfactory. Like, it's okay, it's good enough. I'm happy with the results. And I'm certainly not talking when I say joy about love. Love may be one of the most diluted words in the English language. We love tacos, we love the beach, we love our spouse, we love our career. Like, love means so many things, it certainly doesn't encompass um, with any real conviction the emotion that I'm trying to uh, discuss. And I'm not talking about passion either. Passion is really implies something that burns hot, burns quickly, um, and may either be fleeting, or even if it's not fleeting, maybe it's not practical. Um, it's, it's, it's very emotionally charged. Uh, and again, that doesn't encompass the word joy. Joy to me is a word that is underutilized, underpursued, and vastly underrated. Last video, we talked a lot about regret that regret was the single greatest variable that destroys a man's pursuit of being better in his health. You just ultimately come to regret. And when you start to regret things, it's, it's nearly impossible to pursue joy. As I see it, they live on the same spectrum and one of the greatest thieves of joy is regret. You know, I, I a few years back, buried my father um, unexpectedly. Um, in this past year, I've buried my grandfather. In the ER over the last 12 years, I've been front and center to countless people in those last moments. And I can share with you that this is um, being shared with you <clears throat> out of experience that I've never seen a level of pain than in those last moments when somebody has regret. Conversely, when I see people filled with joy, um, there's something on a soul level that joy represents the ultimate achievement. Because I believe that in those moments when people are approaching the end, I believe that you don't replay your whole life as a movie. Because my experience is people tend to recall and relive moments of their life. And joy is something that is an incredible creator and accelerator of moments. And as I've put here, joy creates moments. But I hope this gets you thinking because I want to leave you with a challenge. And that challenge is simply this. If joy fuels moments and life is about creating moments, are you going to sit back and wait for moments to happen? Or are you going to go create them? I hope you choose creating them. Make joy, the pursuit of joy, a priority in your life. And I think both in the short term and the long term, it will serve you better than nearly anything else you can do. I really hope this video has um, touched you in a place and will cause you to think about what you focus on. And I hope that you choose to make joy a priority. Take care, guys. Till we meet again.